Oh, hello everyone. I just wanted to make a short video. Uh, this is going to be, I'm going to be in 2 Chronicles 12, and I'm going to start at verse 9, I believe, and I'm just going to read a few verses. But uh, the, I will set the scene. This, uh, Solomon had a son. David had Solomon, and Solomon had a son, and his name was Rehoboam, and he uh, took over the kingdom. And uh, uh, that's where this picks up. When David had the kingdom, he had 450, I believe it was, shields of gold. And now Rehoboam takes over, and this is where the story picks up. And I might not pronounce uh, some of these names right, but in, I, I'm in Second Chronicles 12, verse 9. So Shishak, or Shishak, however you pronounce him, king of Egypt, came up against Jerusalem, and took away the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the and the treasures of the king's house. He took all. He carried away also the shields of gold, which Solomon had made, instead of which King Rehoboam made shields of brass, and committed them to the guard, and committed them to the hands of the chief of the guard, and that kept the entrance of the king's house. And when the king entered into the house of the Lord, the guard came and fetched them and brought them again into the guard chamber. So the they had shields of gold. The enemy came and stole the shields of gold. So they made shields of brass. Now brass is not gold. It never will be. It, it, it may shine like gold, but Sooner or later, it'd start tarnishing. I remember when I was in the military, we had a brass belt buckle, and uh, you'd stand for ins inspection, and they wanted to see your shoes shine, and they wanted to see that brass belt buckle shine. If you didn't shine it up every now and then, I think you used a, something called brass so If you didn't take that brass so and shine that belt buckle up, it would it would start tarnishing. So. Uh, to me, this is a story of settling for less. So many times we settle for less than what's what's uh, rightfully ours. You know, when uh, Esau sold his birthright, he got a bowl of soup for a birthright. We make permanent decisions about temporary situations. So that's what I want to warn us about. If we keep taking less and and, and uh, settling for less. By the time our children, grandchildren, great great grandchildren, or whatever, come along, they won't know it as it originally was. The miracles that we've seen, the gold, uh, they they won't be available for for the generations coming. This story makes me think of one when David was at a place called Ziklag. He uh, he was at this place and the enemy came. There was a skirmish down the road. I don't remember exactly where, but uh, David and his men went down there to handle that. And they did. And when they got back, the, the enemy had come and took all, everything they had. They took their wives, their children. Uh, they took, they took it, took it all. And David, he didn't just say, well, Boys, is there anybody that can cook? Anybody know how to clean? Our wives are gone. Our children's gone. So we're going to have to do things differently around here. He didn't do that. He asked God to help him. He said, oh, God, I don't know exact prayer, but may we go get our wife and children. And he said, go. And they went back and got they got everything the enemy has stolen. Now, the enemy has stolen some things from us today. Uh, today is May the 2nd, 2020, and he has stolen things from us in recent times. Uh, there's nine gifts in the Bible in, in 1 Corinthians 12. Uh, we need to see them operating. And uh, and, and if, if we're not careful, we'll settle for less. You know, they have a lawsuit. Look like they're going to sue them for a million dollars. They get down to the proceeding and uh, other opposing the attorney says, well, you take 500000 And so they settle. And let's not settle 
This is our birthright. This is rightfully ours. We're not asking for something that God didn't hand down to us or, or promise. So uh, instead of settling, like I was telling you that David did at Ziglag, um, let's don't settle. Let's, let's, as I said in a previous video, if you shoot for the moon and you miss, you may land among the stars. But if you shoot low, you're going to get hit low every time. So let's go to God and ask him if he'll give us our shields of gold back again. And I believe that he will let us. Um, I hope you get something out of this message today. May God bless you. It's my prayer until we meet again.